So today I want to go over um, the 64-bit tutorial. If you haven't done the 32-bit tutorial, I have a video on that. And I suggest watching that first if you're really just wanting to learn how to do the tutorial. This one, I'm, I want to be focusing more on just the idea of making a cheat table for the tutorial. So we'll actually be writing scripts for everything, all steps. Um, and kind of making a, a table to just click some buttons and then be able to just click next constantly going through the tutorial be the way that we're actually wanting to complete it and test it and all that um, hopefully I won't have to break this up into too many videos but I do know it's going to be longer because I'm really going to be talking about the scripts and what I'm doing in each one of them I'm probably reading through every single one of them hopefully and not missing anything I know in that 32-bit tutorial I kind of missed uh, adding an unregistered symbol and actually adding the third uh, pointer to catch stuff that wasn't team one and team two and so this one I'll probably actually make a real good point to actually do that um, so this video will definitely be a, a multi video kind of thing to see the whole thing but uh, hopefully it won't be too long so to start off let's go ahead and start with launching the 64-bit tutorial um, we'll get that opened and set up so we can start looking through this stuff um, so again the first step is just open the process and we just go in and click next so we want to find that that hell that won't take very long of course it's an integer so we're just going to search for that and that looks like our address there So now let's find out what accesses this address. So it looks like we got something that runs constant. Let's go ahead and do hit me. And then this is what's actually going to be decreasing our value. So now one thing we can do, say this was an actual game and we want to have a pointer, our own pointer to always point to this health. So every time we launch the game we can we can just view our pointer and kind of go from there. We can even use that to filter out. I tend to get lazy and do that a lot instead of actually reversing the process and understanding how it knows to separate things out. I just find a, a piece of code that only accesses this one. Um, so you always want to start off with seeing what else runs through there and just making sure you don't have anything goofy. Um, in this case, you'd want to kind of run around, run into NPCs, do whatever you got to do. Since this one's step-based, we'll just treat each step like it's its own separate level or something, so we don't need to separate it out from levels. So it doesn't look like anything else is accessed by that. So this can just be our, our health hook for step one. So what we'll want to do is go ahead and make sure that line is selected. Um, We've got this jump right behind it, so I don't think we want that one. I think we're going to want to go up here. And since we just want to hook the base, that RBX, um, we can actually just come up here and hook RCX and not have to worry about it. Um, this way we're not going to be in the area of it messing with the stack and us accidentally messing that up. Or we're not going to be down in this jump and having to deal with that. Um, because as you can see, this jump it's just using a... A 3-8 offset and this is basically a shorthand jump or a short jump um, so it's actually telling it to jump if not equal plus 38 of where it's at when it gets done reading that 7-8 so 38 bytes later down here is where it jumps to um, so we don't want to do that because we'd actually have to store this address, have a way to get to this address as well and have that address and not just this plus 38 because that won't work in our hook or in the redirected code. So let's go ahead and hook it up here. Um, tools, auto assemble, template, cheat table framework, and then let's just do a simple address injection here. Um, cheat engine calls that a full injection. But again, it's a, it is a full injection because we're doing a full redirect. Now we can see here we've got quite a few no ops, but that has to do with our instruction right here. This one's only three, so it won't give us our full five, and then we've got to cover this entire instruction. 
Um, to some extent, we could just put in a jump, leave those bites, and then have everything jump after that, but that can still get kind of messy, and so it's always better to make sure you got your no ops. Again, that's where the templates are the best because they it'll do that automatically for you. Um, so I'm kind of partial to a different text editor, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. get some syntax highlighting going on so this is the default script that cheat engine generated with the template um, we can go ahead and make some basic changes um, this one's not really necessary but I just don't yeah, I don't think it actually makes a difference but if it ever does I still like to just by default do that um, having so many so much room allocated just doesn't make sense to me at least but I think it has to do with an underlying thing in Windows. It doesn't really, you can't really change that behavior. It's just it is how it is, not unless you manually do it all when this allocate is called. If Darkbot actually has it set up manually, it may do differently. But um, So what we want to do is create our pointer. So we'll need a label or some way to get to that pointer. Call this step one health. And then we want to register our symbol. And then we also want to go ahead and come on down here and make sure we are symbol unregistered when we disable this. So that way when the code's not running in case the address changed, we won't think that we're, we've still got the address in theory. Um, so now I actually, in the previous 32-bit, I showed putting it down here, which works just fine. There's, if you, that's what you'd rather do, go ahead and do that. Um, but I actually like to make some minor changes. So go ahead and call this. O code instead of just code. Um, we'll go ahead and have end code for new code. And then we want to make sure we actually jump to our new code and not new mem because we're going to go and put our pointer here. Double data is what we want, or data double actually, because no X, I need data quad because it's 64 bit. So DQ to tell it what size we want here, and in this case, that's going to make it 8 bytes. We can even help illustrate that and actually stick 8 bytes up there, but I just never care for that. So when we jump the new code, what we want to do. Is go ahead and move oh, yeah. RCX inside of our pointer. And then that way we're storing that because RCX sets RBX and then RBX is used inside this function, is what looks like happens basically. Because I think this is the start right here because we got a return and then another push of RBX which tells us it doesn't want to mess that up and then RCX is actually being used. So that's one of the parameters of the function. So now we should be pretty much ready to inject our script. Let's kind of look it over. So we've got our new code, our O code, and then our return. All those labels are set. Um, and we've got our pointer and it's being unregistered. And then we're actually using our pointer, getting it set inside this function and then it just does its own compare and returns back to the where it jumped from and then we'll do that jump of not equal based on how that it, you know comes back or how that compare worked out and what flags it set. Go ahead and put that in. 
Oh, never do that. So let's assign it to the cheat table. So now we can get rid of that. Let's go and name this so we don't lose track of it. Once we enable that, we can go ahead and then just copy our pointer symbol and add address. And that's our base, and we want that. Oh, is that actually 760? Yeah, 790. So we want plus 790 for our offset, and then that gets us to our pointer here. Stick that up underneath that. Group config and hide children when deactivated, so this way we don't necessarily see that. And then just because I'm weird, I like to always make sure I mark that in a decent way. So now we've got our pointer for health. So say the game crashes or whatever, we can actually just, you know, relaunch our game, get back to where we were, depending upon how the help, you know, hook works, if it only works on that one level. Okay. So reattach. Cheat Engine will do that. It'll want to disable everything without running the disable script so it doesn't mess up a bunch of stuff. So then we hook that, and it looks like we got our health right off the bat. So now let's go ahead and find out what access is this again. Oh, yeah, we don't want that. So find out what access is this address because it's a pointer. It's going to ask if we want to see what sets the pointer more or less, or what reads a part of the pointer, what access to the pointer itself, or the address that the pointer is pointing to, and that's what we want. Because otherwise, we just get our own code where we're setting our pointer more or less. So now, it's going to hit me again. Our pointer updated already. Let's go ahead and change what happens here. Now this, we won't have enough bytes to automatically set it to 5,000. We could even do it in here and just set some flags and then have it toggle a flag. Um, we'll go ahead and do an injection for this one as well. So, looks like, yeah, we'll have enough room for that. So it'll just be the one line. Make it that much easier. Let's go auto assemble, G table framework, and then let's do an AOV injection. Okay, so, so we got our injection symbol, it's a module base, so now it's going to be just searching the, that module, the cheat engine tutorial dash x86 underscore 64.exe. Um, we don't really need to make a, a pointer for this one, we can if we wanted to to make sure if the game's a little more complicated we could still see what's going on and see that only our health runs through this address um, but this one just because it's it's so simple and we know it's set up that way I'm not gonna waste time on all that oh, let's not do that so this one we just want to basically change this instruction so let's go ahead and comment out this line and then instead of subbing it let's just go ahead and set that value Which 
just use that RDX and we can set that up here. Um, so on this one, let's go ahead and make that value to where we can set it at any point in time. Um, so just like I did on the last one, I want to go ahead and make my new code. And you get you don't have to do this. Um, this is just more me. It makes me feel better. <laughs> old code has changed and now we make sure we get our new code set up and we're jumping to our new code so that all looks good go ahead and step this out so now let's go ahead and create our label let's make it an int because this is actually int and I'm not being weird again um, just use that. Be a little lazy. Oh, no, we're not on So we got a register symbol now. Let's make sure we unregister it. actually like to always have this right up here so I see I create it I deal with it and then move on to do other stuff I just like to keep these things kind of together so that's why I know what's going on with it right from the bat I don't have to look up here and see oh I didn't register it and then oh it's now registered down here after I've actually used it um, it really does work fine that's how dark bike set it up so I can't say there's anything wrong with it, but I just like it up here more or less. Again, it just makes me feel good. Um, so we want our int. And then we just need a data double for this. Because that's what it's using here with it. Using EDX instead of RDX, it's just making it a double word instead of a word. So now let's move into edx value add our integers address and basically we're just setting this to whatever we have up here and let's go ahead and set our default correctly um, well, yeah it's what a thousand we gotta set it to so now we're telling them we want a base 10 integer at a thousand Doesn't look like we're missing anything. We got our new code, our old code. Return. It's being unregistered. Okay, so I think this is all done. I'm gonna pop that back into Cheat Engine. Let's go ahead and set that. Okay, so if we run this one, we should see it change, and then we can even follow this with spacebar. Oh, I forgot the, the line. And that kind of does illustrate why I like to use that, because you can see here where it's actually this almost makes it look like something completely different is going on. Um, and that's not at all what we had. But the only line that's right is this one here, the jump. But if we come in here and go and add that a line, like for example, if we just do it with without that CC part, you can see here it just adds zeros and that even ends up messing up how that line looks and it's just not it's not offset right um, we could actually straighten this out with just hitting the right and left arrows and get it to where manually get it to this address knowing that we know that it's offset that way but again if we this is often how compilers space stuff out and it just ends up looking a little better and cleaner um, obviously here for some 
yeah, it's still picking this up, right? Because it sees a CC as part of an address. So it thinks this is a call, but but really that's our integer. Um, let me go ahead and put it down here. Now this one isn't actually a pointer. So we just want to use the address itself. And then again, we can stick that under that and mark this in whatever way you want to. And then that's our, that's what's actually set in this value. So that way when we, we cheat, we would even change that to 5,000 or whatever. Um, obviously in this scenario, it's not really a big deal. It doesn't really matter. But if you were having a, you know, forest full health or say this was a money cheat or something like that, um, this is where that can get kind of handy because you can change the value at will and not have to redo the code or and if you share the cheat table it makes it real easy for others to understand and get the idea obviously probably want to give it a more descriptive name here if this was the actual thing you're showing to the users um, so we could just say uh, set value or health set value So, let's see if our cheat's working. And it is. Okay, so that is step two. Let's go ahead and fix that. Okay. Getting the wrong keys here. <laughs> 